are about to get up and get our acceleration. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ram 2500 Tradesman. But most importantly, this truck has a 6.4 Hemi. So we can actually test out the 6.4 Hemi for the 2021 model year. First and foremost though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. So under the hood of the Tradesman, we have a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 410 horsepower and then 429 pound-feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the 2500. So first and foremost, you guys can see that we've got the 2500 heavy duty badge there on the side. And then we've got these reflector halogen bulbs here at the front. And then over here, you guys can see most of the girls blacked out. You do have the Ram logo that's in Chrome. And then just down below, you can see all Chrome bumper. And then you do get some blacked out tow hooks as well with the air dam there at the bottom. But other than that, the Tradesman is your entry level package. So everything is pretty basic with this truck. Coming around the side here, we've got 275 millimeter tires on 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well with the Tradesman package here. And you can see that you just have the chrome finish on the wheels themselves. Again, kind of goes with like the chrome bumper and the rest of the truck. Here's a quick look at the suspension here on the Tradesman. And then you can see you've got the little chrome Ram logo there. And then you got the Hemi 6.4 badge right there to let you know that it does have the 6.4 Hemi. And then other than that, here is your full side view. And if you guys are wondering, this has the six foot four bed. Now let's go over the bed here of the Tradesman. So you can see this does not have a bed liner from the factory, but you can easily add that after the fact. And then you guys can see no LED bed lights or anything like that. But most importantly, the payload capacity of this truck is just under 3,200 pounds. So for a 2,500 series truck, it's actually pretty decent. Now let's go over the rear end of the 2500 so you guys can see you've got the chrome badges here on the rear end and then you can see you just have the base model taillights here at the back and then full chrome bumper here on the rear end and then you've got the receiver hitch down below towing capacity on this truck is right around 14,000 pounds and then the last thing is that little exhaust tip there at the bottom just kind of pops out of the side of the truck and that's everything for the rear so let's head inside and get out of the snow over the door panel here in the rear you guys can see that the material here on the door panel is pretty basic again this is just a work truck so it's not gonna be crazy nice or anything like that and then coming over to the seats the seats are really soft to the touch especially for like a work truck it's crazy just like how nice these seats actually are so definitely the nicest for like a work series truck in the segment no ice buckets they don't offer those anymore for some reason or it's, it's weird i don't know anyways you got storage space just underneath and let's actually pop in so stepping in it's actually pretty difficult to get in without the side steps Oof. you definitely have to like do like a full like lunge getting in if you guys are wearing 511 there's my headroom there's my leg room as well and then you guys can see you've got some vents just down below right here and then with the seat there's no cup holders or anything like that but this is the back of the tradesman now, before we go over the door panels, quickly go over the mirrors. So this does have a trailer tow mirrors. They do pop up and they are heated as well. And then going over the door panel itself, you guys can see again, pretty basic. This is a work truck. You've got all of your window controls right there, your mirror adjustments. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, same cloth seats as the rear, really nice for a work truck. Manual adjustments there on the side of the seat. And then you guys have the pedal layout just down below. Light control just up here with the cargo light integrated into that little portion. Remember, this doesn't have fog lights. The steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's a more look before we pop in. Here's the steering wheel with the Tradesman package. It's pretty interesting. So they've got like rougher touch there at the top side, like the soft touch you get in the Laramie or the Bighorn, but you get perforated leather here on the side. So you get a little bit better grip there on the side. Just kind of interesting how it looks like. This material right here is actually kind of nice, whereas this one isn't. So it's, it's weird they actually threw in some nice material here. Anyways, got your cruise control. You've got your gear limiter right there. And then over here, you've got the controls to the center stack. You've got your voice command controls. If you guys are wondering on the back of the steering wheel, there's no radio controls again. It's the Tradesman package. And then and got little stock for the turn signal on the windshield wipers as well. And other than that, that is the steering wheel for the Tradesman. Now here's the center gauge cluster. You can see that you've got RPMs on the left side and on the right side, you've got the speed. And then you do have that little center screen which you can scroll through a couple of different menus with the truck. Nothing too crazy. It's the same as we get in the other trucks. It's just the screen's really small because, well, 
it's a tradesman. Got our whole center infotainment system. First off, there's a 12 volt there at the top. And as for the infotainment system itself, obviously it's a really small screen for modern standards, but it's a base model truck. You've got a backup camera that does have the little zoom function. And by the way, the screen actually works pretty well. So these gloves do have the little thing where you can actually use them with the touch screen. And the screen actually responds pretty well to the uh, gloves, which I think is pretty cool. But you guys can see the trajectory lines with the backup camera. As for the rest of the infotainment system, it comes with Bluetooth, it's got radio, all that kind of stuff, all the normal stuff. It's just a really small little screen. So if you guys don't like modern technology, then this is gonna be the infotainment system for you. But just down below, we've got our climate control. So it's a single zone climate here in the tradesman. And then you guys can see you've got the tow haul mode there and then the stability control. The trailer brakes integrated right next to that. And then you do have the little drive mode select here. So you've got your park, reverse, neutral, all that kind of stuff nothing too crazy with it regular dial shifter and you guys are probably wondering wait where is the drive line select well that's actually in another place so just down below you guys can see that we've got some usbs in that little area and then there is a little bit of extra storage and then here's the actual drive line selector so you can see that you've got a shifter here on the floor so you've got your two wheel high you've got your four wheel high behind that your neutral and then your four wheel low so if you guys like the old school style of shifting with the driveline selection then again this is going to be the truck for you now this truck does come equipped with the bench seat so you guys can see storage space in here is pretty good and then you get another 12 volt inside of it with a little coin holder cup holders here at the top portion of the seat and then lifting up the seat you've got some extra storage and then if you guys are wondering there is no under seat storage here with the tradesman you get that in the bighorn not the tradesman but you get a little tray there in the front which is kind of nice Coming over to the glove box, the top portion is open on the Tradesman package, and then the bottom portion, just a regular glove box, nothing too crazy. And then you guys can see they continue kind of like this material that's the same as what's on the uh, steering wheel pretty much from a texture standpoint. Popping up top here, we've got some controls. So first off, we do have a little button for the power sliding window, which this is interesting because I reviewed a Bighorn recently that didn't have a power sliding window, and this is a Tradesman, and it does have a power sliding window. Light controls here at the top, and then it does have the automatic little mirror dimmer thing on it well not automatic you've got to pull the tab and then sunglass holder and other than that you've got a darker headliner which kind of matches with the overall theme of the truck now that we're done going with the interior on this tradesman with the 6.4 hemi let's quickly get into pricing so this particular truck with all the options it has stickers for about forty five thousand dollars before any type of market adjustment that all being said let's take this tradesman with the uh, 6.4 hemi out and see how she drives Well, let's quickly talk about visibility before we set off here in this 2500 with the 6.4 Hemi. You guys can see visibility over the hood just like any other 2500. If you aren't used to driving a big truck, it will take a little bit to get used to because they do have bigger sized hoods. There's your visibility through both the mirrors and this won't take a long time to get used to because you will be like, wow, this is like crazy. These mirrors are massive. Yeah, they show everything. And then here's visibility all throughout the rear, which is solid as well. Visibility in general is really good for a truck. The only issue is just the front end. It's sometimes hard to gauge with that. But once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. And let's set off. Well, we are initially setting off here in this 6.4 Hemi 2500. And I guess we'll uh, do a little parking lot test here. So we'll kind of maneuver through the parking lot a little bit to see how this truck is. Yeah, so I mean, for being, for being like a big heavy duty truck, it is not bad at all. Especially if you're coming from like a mid 2000s truck to this. I mean, this thing is gonna feel like just the smallest thing ever to you. But anyways, let's actually get up and going. And this isn't like a real snow test. This is like partial. The roads are just uh, wet with a little bit of uh, sleet, but not too bad. Getting up and going. 6.4 Hemi's got good torque. I love the sound that this makes. It's such a good sounding engine. Brakes are really solid with this truck as well. Um, but yeah, good torque. In terms of the ride quality, the thing that I've noticed is kind of interesting is I, I'm thinking because this truck isn't weighed down as much as a truck with the Cummins, it almost feels like the trucks that have the 6.4 Hemi ride a little bit rougher than the trucks with the Cummins. Hey, I might be crazy, but that's just kind of what uh, I can feel through my uh, rear end is <laughs> it's a little bit bumpier. Um, but in terms of the rest of the stuff of the truck, you guys can notice that I'm kind of having to adjust um, with my hands a lot with the steering wheel kind of as it's bumping around. It kind of goes all over the place just a little bit. And I just, I, like I said, I don't notice that as much with the Cummins. The Cummins seems like it's just kind of sticks down a little bit more, but that engine's 
it's a lot heavier than this engine so obviously it makes sense um but kind of the maneuverability though it does feel a little bit lighter from the front end perspective so it is a little bit easier to drive than a truck with the cummins um so if you want a truck that just handles a little bit better then well this is gonna be the truck for you but it's not like a crazy huge difference and you guys will be able to see that here yeah turning's really good for a heavy duty truck um i'd rate that at about average with the truck and doing an acceleration that's extremely slow because we are behind a little honda here it's okay um it's got a, again a decent amount of low end torque but where we're really going to feel the difference is once we get our full-blown acceleration up here it's it's just not going to feel nearly as uh powerful as the cummins oh we are about to get up and get our acceleration well i've actually got to change the lane because this honda does not know how to accelerate okay sounds so beautiful i love the sound of this 6.4 hemi just just such a nice like beefy sound <laughs> is the best way for me to put it um, but from an acceleration standpoint it's strong it's just it doesn't have the same torque as the cummins so you definitely like so initially right off the line it feels okay but once you get up and going and especially with the cummins once you get into those turbos and you feel you know if you get like a base model cummins you have 850 pound feet of torque if you get a 3500 with the ice and you've got a thousand pound feet of torque then you really really feel the difference and that thing that truck just feels so powerful or is this just tapers off a little bit um but for around town use and all that kind of stuff it's really solid um from what i've heard from people that own these from a towing capacity standpoint the cummins does get better fuel economy when you tow versus this engine this definitely dies off um, once you hook it up to a trailer and that'll actually get me into summing things up with this truck so first off love the sound of this engine i think it's just a really good engine um reliability on these so far has actually been pretty good again from what i've heard from people that have owned the truck uh, maintenance on it's going to be a little bit less than a diesel engine uh just because it's a naturally aspirated engine versus a turbocharged diesel engine uh, now in terms of the overall cost with gas and all that versus the diesel you might end up spending a little bit more at the pump with this just because the fuel economy is not going to be as good as a diesel but they're you know relatively close depending on your driving um so as an overall engine i think it's good and then for this tradesman package i think this is great i mean for like a basic work truck this interior is really nice you have like all the basic stuff you have an infotainment system with bluetooth and the interior materials are actually pretty nice especially the seats these seats are really comfortable for like a basic work truck package so again if you're looking for like a basic work truck i think the tradesman's the one to get um right now just in terms of like the quality you get um with the truck and i think the 6.4 hemi is worth it but if you have the money I'd probably go with the Cummins, but that's just me. That is going to sum things up with our video on this 2021 Ram 2500 Tradesman with the 6.4 Hemi. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.